Hello Internet, it's Big Dave here, and I am cheap. How cheap? Well, I'm so cheap that I didn't pay anything for Fortix 2. Fortix? Fortix. F We're gonna go with Fortix. I like that. Fortix 2 comes to us from Nemesis, and I'm assuming it's spelled, it's a pronounced Nemesis because it's spelled N-E-M-E-S-Y-S, -E -E using the uh, always cool convention of replacing an I with a Y. So uh, I'm going to assume it is in fact pronounced Nemesis. These guys are from Hungary though, so uh, could be some kind of weird Hungarian thing. If you're out there and you're Hungarian, tell me if it is. Because if it is, I wouldn't want to think less of them. Because if it's not some weird Hungarian thing, then they're kind of dorks. Anyhow, they've made an interesting game, and I do remember this game being played by uh, Simon of the Yogg's Cast fame. I seem to remember he manipulated this bird until he unlocked a zombie mode. But we're not going to do that. Uh, I did play this game just a little bit, only to realize it was on easy. And I was like, wow, this game is easy. So I turned it on normal for this playthrough. Uh, let's take a look at this. Options, none to speak of. Other than the ability to change your avatar into a dot or a tank. Uh, there's really nothing. Uh, you cannot change the resolution, so I have black bars on the side uh, of my full screen. And uh, I'm not really happy about that. So... Uh, yeah, some sound controls and, uh, yeah, changing your avatar to a tank. There are achievements, which is always a good thing, as well as high scores. So, uh, let's just dig right into this. Here we go. Lots of reading that we're just not gonna do. Let's just read the last line. You have to fight your now even stronger arch enemy again. Since this is a sequel, that makes sense. You are now arriving to Green Land. Birds are singing, dragons are roaring, squirrels are hopping, towers are shooting. This is the nicest place you will see on the land of Autolom. Alright. Well, hell, let's go. There's a little sword clash there. That's definitely going to indicate something. Uh, what you will immediately notice if you are a fan of me and watch my videos is that this game is exactly, and I mean exactly, the same playstyle. Oh, don't hit me. Hmm. As Lightfish. So, Lightfish was the... No! Lightfish... was the interesting title that I played... Now, let's take a little bit here. <laughs> that I played a couple of months ago. And uh, that game was uh, basically this. Except for Lightfish actually contained a very interesting mechanic that this game lacks, which is an auto-rewind feature. So when you stopped your forward momentum in Lightfish, it automatically pulled you back in. And it does not do that in this game. Which is, you know, a bit... Uh, a bit of a design choice, I suppose, but it's also something that I really would have liked to have seen. And there we go, we grab it. So pretty much that's what you gotta do. You have to cordon off the castle by drawing a square around it. You can also claim more land, and the more land you claim, the more score, and the faster you do it, the bigger the score, and so forth and so on. It's a simple, uh, very simple concept that they, of course, managed to innovate on into some interesting ways. Uh, now, Lightfish had its particulars. Uh, it had a lot of enemies and a lot of varied enemy types. This game does something very interesting, as we see the green dragons here. This game does something very interesting that I did enjoy, which was uh, actually varying your speed based on terrain. And I thought that was pretty cool, as I capture a sunflower there. And you'll see that in action uh, right up here when I get to these woods. So you see I'm going at a fairly brisk pace. When I hit the woods I slow down a lot. A whole lot. So that is a very nice mechanic that they've added in there. Um, surprisingly I'm just about the same speed in water as... No, 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 dragon! Ugh. Too much talking, not enough putting squares around stuff. So I'm about the same speed in water as I am in the forest, which is interesting. Maybe a little bit faster in water, actually. Oh, captured, and I got a star, which means I get speed increased. So uh, this game does do a lot more with power-ups and uh, stuff like that, as opposed to uh, what Lightfish did, which was much more focus on... Got it. 
much more focus on enemy variety and level design. This one tends to do lots of power-ups and some interesting stuff you'll see later on. I mean, there is varied uh, level design in this. It is not, uh, it's not stale. Not at all. You are playing as our hero, Sir Fortix, who uh, for some reason is Im apparently imbued with the power to uh, claim land by walking in square patterns around it. Grab the star here, increase my speed, and see if I can do a little bit of a ninja. Yeah, there we go. And that's going to finish up the level. Oh, I got a uh, happy dragon. I got an achievement. We all love achievements. They pop up. They make you feel good. Make you feel like you've done something of value. Uh, nice overworld map here. I like the art style. Music's decent. Uh, yeah, all in all, I uh, I enjoy this game. It Again, it is just like Lightfish. You know, which came first? The Lightfish or Fortix? I don't know. This is a sequel. I'm imagining they came first. But I also know that there are games prior to both of these that used a very similar mechanic. So uh, this is, I suppose, becoming a genre um, of game. So, a wall. Let's see. These huge walls cannot be crossed over unless you learn to fly. Right, walls are fairly common. Alright. So, let's play around with some walls here. Oh, we got cannons. Alright, so I'm gonna take a staggered approach here since we do have these cannons firing. Try to grab. Not gonna make it. You can see down at the bottom I do have my lives. Or lives, as I suppose is the actual word for that. And uh, they are steadily going down as I continue to be killed by cannonballs. But we're gonna claim our own catapults. And now we are gonna start to put out some damage. Start destroying some cannons, and that'll make it much easier to claim future lands in the name of. Sir Fortix and whatever noble quest he is on. Okay, so we cannot cross that. And that's the interesting sort of mechanic for this level here. Can we cross it here? No, we cannot. Interesting. Very interesting. So let's draw ourselves a little peninsula there. That'll allow us to start claiming land on the other side. That worked out very well. So, you know, there's some inherent strategy in a game like this, uh, especially with effects like terrain slowing you down, uh, the path of enemies. Oh, we got a stoppage on the dragons there. That was pretty cool. Oh, no, no, no. No. Uh, all right. Let's, let's work our way out here and claim that catapult. So, yeah, this working your way out little by little was something that just sort of fell in my lap in the early going, and uh, it's been a strategy that's worked pretty okay for me uh, so far. So I've employed it uh, quite a lot. Alright, we got some speed. Now we can really start doing some damage. Very little fear of those cannonballs now with our speed power up. Alright, let's start doing some... Oh, we lost our speed. I'm again afraid of the cannons now. Alright, here we go. Oh, just got me. All right, I'm about to be out of mans. We'll be able to claim that cannon. Get that thing shooting. Silence those towers. And then we'll be able to get to the center, to the juicy center of the map. Ooh. There we go. Now we've got all of our cannons active, which should kill all four. Yep, there we go. And now the only thing we really need to worry about is dragons as we push ourselves forward. And now I'm sure that there's some, I don't want to say pro circuit for this game, but you know that there are people who've played many of these games who uh, really have involved, got involved in the strategy of it. And I'm just going to cut this thing in half. It's a bonus score there. Oh, look at that. Achievements popping up left and right. And there we go. Harvester achievement. And Sir Fortix there with his lovely red beard and his red hair. A fine looking Scotsman or Irishman there. Very, very handsome individual. Oh, now we're starting to get some choice. Very nice, very nice. Uh, this game uh, seems very... Um, 
very sort of mobile devicey, I think. Uh, these sort of drawing, uh, cordoning off spots, it feels very much like a, like a mobile device game. And we're going to continue to introduce new concepts here. This time it's the ogre. Ogres are dumb guardians of the Artalom strongholds. Okay. They walk around with their huge swords and slice up everything, yada, yada, yada. All right. So we have towers now that are set off to themselves. Let's see. I'm trying to see if that tower is going to shoot at me. It is. Oh. Okay. There we go. Got my sunflower. Not really sure the value of capturing a sunflower other than score, but, uh, you know, score is a good reason to capture anything in a game like this. We'll work our way back out, try to grab that cannon so that we can start shooting back. There we go. Let's shoot some stuff. Alright, so I'm just going to start grabbing whatever I can here, avoiding the ogre. Avoiding the cannon fire, not so much avoiding the cannon fire. Alright, very close to that cannon, kind of not really the best position. So uh, let's head over here, do sort of a stair step here. There we go. Protecting myself a little bit. Oh, very tough terrain here, swampy. A little bit of water there as well. Tough, tough going, tough going right here. Oh, mm, never had a chance. Here we go. Gonna have to be more deliberate. Mm, there we go. And it is game over. And apparently Zitroff won this time. Hmm. All right. Well, let's go back to the map and uh, let's sort of head head into our closing thoughts here on Fortix 2. It's an interesting title. Uh, I must say that uh, I am glad that I got it for free. Uh, I got it for free as part of the Indie uh, Gala number two. Uh, which is a bundle that is going to be closed by the time that you are listening to this. But uh, I really, really enjoy uh, the Indie Gala because they do uh, games and music together. Some of the music's throwaway, garbage, dubstep, whatever. If you like that sort of thing, it's great for you. Uh, but some of it is actually pretty darn good. So uh, it's an interesting bundle in that it is trying to take a slightly different take on it. Uh, this time around with the second bundle, the more you buy, the more you get. So if you pay $1, you get like three games and three albums. If you pay $5, you get, you know, six games and six albums. If you pay $10, you get eight games and 11 albums or whatever, you know, like that. It, it scrolls up to a certain point. There are three levels. So on the third level, it stops. So uh, check it out. Uh, keep an eye on it. Maybe subscribe to their newsletter. Uh, they are based uh, out of, I want to say, Italy. Uh, but I've had good dealings with them so far. They've improved their system. Indie Gala number one actually emailed you. A, uh, a an email with all your codes in it. Uh, now they're more like the Humble Bundle. They have a page that you go to that stores all your codes and you can go back there in the future if you lose your codes and you don't have to worry about keeping up with an email or constantly having to resend an email. So uh, very cool. It is definitely an, an up and coming bundle but isn't every bundle at this point besides the Humble Bundle. So uh, check it out. Uh, IndieGala.com That is uh, I-N-D-I-E-G-A-L-A dot Com. This has been Fortix 2 from Nemesis. I have enjoyed the game, though uh, I must say uh, I'm kind of glad I didn't pay any money for it, really technically. I mean, I guess I did pay some money for it, but uh, I'm kind of glad that I didn't pay full price, which is $10. All right, guys, I hope you've enjoyed Fortix 2. If you did get the Indie Gala number two, maybe you will give Fortix 2 a try. Otherwise, uh, keep an eye out for it on sale for three or four bucks. I would say this game uh, definitely provides some interesting play and if you really like these games where you sort of cordon things off by running in uh, in square patterns then you'll absolutely love Fortix 2. All right this is me saying goodbye from the land of Artalom. All right guys I have been Big Dave and until next time take it easy.